try and make sure it's straight. Okay. Hey everyone, it's me, Kendall. So I'm running out of content to film because I'm stuck in my house. So I thought I would show you guys all the art I made from fall and spring quarter at SCAD. I should give you a good idea of what we do at SCAD, I guess, maybe. It's also probably disorganized because I took it all off my walls when I moved back home. So I'm going to start with my drawing one class that I took fall quarter, freshman year. Our pre-quarter assignment was to draw sticks and leaves, how we saw them. So this was basically where I was at before ever taking a SCAD course. That's a lie. I've taken SCAD courses before for pre-college programs. That was my first ever college SCAD course thing. So we start and I was kind of not the best, but that's fine. I cannot find my first drawing. Well, past Kendall, it's me, future Kendall here, and I do have access to that drawing because you posted on Instagram right here, yay! So, let me talk about this. Basically, we had to do a line drawing of a still life in our room. I did this. Our second one was a, another line drawing. Drawing one's a lot of, you don't get to use color, you don't get to use value for most of it. This was another line drawing that I had to do. And it was just, you could put in an imaginative element and it was based off of a place in the building. My next project was this, which was the first time we really used value. This was a graphite still life from home of some Starbucks bottles, a key, you know, that kind of stuff. This was a charcoal drawing of a shell that we had to do for class. Here I have four mini still lives that I had to do and I kind of struggled with these because it rained outside. I was working on them outside and that was awful. My final for that project, which has regrettably gotten a bit dinged up, is this piece which is a piece of my friend Zach and the, he's made out of clocks to represent growth and maturity throughout time. I wrote up a thing on it, I can't find it though. But this was my final for that class and it took such a long time. My other class fall quarter was design one, which was pretty fun actually. My teacher was kind of awesome for that class. I'm taking her again this quarter, but it'll be online. So we don't know how that will go. Our first project was to make a self portrait through cut up paper in a collage format of ourselves. Self-portrait, I already said that. It taught me a lot about value and conveying value. Our second project was to make a semi-abstracted version of that, which I have here done with graphite. And this was fun because we got to do a lot of thumbnails and we got to really explore what to do to design this. Here I have my sketchbook that I used for design that quarter. As you can see, I took a lot of notes on what the projects would be like. These were my samples for the first project. And here, I have some of my thumbnails for the second project. Followed up with a basic outline of what I thought it would look like. My next assignment was where our teacher gave us a word that we chose blindly out of a jar and we had to illustrate the word without actual illustrations, just through how the word is. My word was obsessive and basically I just rewrote obsessive a lot and on the sides I kind of gnawed it up a bit just to give it this super almost decrepity vibe. 99% sure that's not a word, but whatever. For this project, I was struggling because I had a ton of ideas for it, which I can show you. <laughs> this was my first day just thumbnailing where I was going through a bunch of ideas. Then here were even more ideas, more ideas. This one was kind of as if it was written out of cut up cereal boxes. And yeah, that was obsessive. <laughs> The following project was to illustrate a person onto a dollar bill in a monotone color scheme. I did research on several people. 
I end up choosing Harvey Milk. This is my first round of thumbnailing, followed by two sketches of what it would look like monotone. This here was my mock-up of what the final would look like. Here I have the final project, and as you can see, I just used green with some of its complement red. I added white and black to change the tones and shades. And in conclusion, this is what he looked like. The final project for that class was to come up with a board game. Here, as you can see, I have some ideas I was going through. I ended up deciding to do this Netflix-based board game. And how it turned out was like this, where I illustrated all the Netflix titles. I also had keep a keyboard with instructions and a mouse to place a card on. However, I do not have those anymore. <laughs> All right, so now we're moved on to winter quarter of the freshman year, the last quarter which I just completed. I'm gonna start with my drawing class. So, my drawing sketchbook for this class was crazy because everything was in it. Our first assignment was to pick an animal figurine and I chose a dragon from a local store. I believe it was a toy store. I just grabbed one of the dragons that they had. And these were my thumbnails where I started thumbnailing out what my dragons would look like. And I continued thumbnailing that. Then I did some research as to what master copies look like in the mediums which I was pursuing. I did more research. I took some notes from our textbook. I made some value thumbnails of how my piece would look. I took more notes and some on planner analysis. And in the end, I got, I finished with two pieces. Oh, before I show you the pieces, I also did this master copy in ink to prepare me for the second of the pieces. The first piece featured three different angles of my dragon, and it was done in red sanguine chalk. These pieces I found to be super complicated they were really hard the second piece I did following my master copy was this ink version with two of the dragons I then moved on to the second problem the second project which was creating a cabinet of curiosities here I have my thumbnails for each of them where I created a bunch of little mock-ups of what these full page projects could look like. And more mock-ups and more mock-ups. And then I took some notes from our textbook. I have kind of what a cabinet of curiosity would mean to me page. That's it for my notes on it. I then went ahead and made it with a mix of ink and charcoal. This is made up of ink pads and at home still lights. All my pieces are covered with tracing paper to protect them. Still lights. And as you can see, I have bones on both sides and a bunch of tiny still lights, and it can fold up like that. My next project was a large oil pastel. Here I have basically a thumbnail for it as well as I had more online thumbnails. I have my colored material notes and then proceeded to make a color wheel and a small mock-up of what, oh it's upside down, small mock-ups of what it could look like. Finally, this is the finished piece. In this piece, we were not allowed to use blacks or grays. We had to mix all of our colors. My next project was an architecture project. So here I have notes on the architecture chapter of our textbook. We then go on to draw inspiration from different architectural periods over time. And different conceptual artists. And then I started thumbnailing basically what I wanted it to look like. There's also a bunch of more thumbnails which aren't in my textbook. Here is more inspiration images.
and the value thumbnails for the final project. I then went and did this faster copy of a bunch of trees so I could better understand how the materials work on this type of paper. This was my final project, which the concept was due to coronavirus, everyone goes into a dome. And while we're all in there, nature on the outside begins to thrive once again. Hey, future me again. I was gonna have a clip here of where I showed you my sketchbook from my drawing class with my weekend conceptual projects which are just kind of fun sketchbook stuff. But anyways, that clip was like 10 minutes and I figured I'll just make it its own video and people can go watch that, it'll be awesome. I'm gonna go on and show the, my design class. Our first assignment for my design class this past quarter was a camouflage piece where we bought toy animals and we painted them to match a background. This background I actually scrapbooked together from a bunch of different papers I found. My animals, now there's some black stuff to his head, I don't know where that came from. But as you can see, they're all just painted to match. We just had to mix the colors from the primary colors. Our next project was to make collages. The boards for these are a bit damaged, but this is my analogous color collage. This was my desaturated collage. This was my split complement collage. Our next, next project for this class was we had to take an ad from a local business, which he gave me this Sunsies ad, and we had to recreate it to kind of look cool for modern students, and this was mine. Finally, in this class, we had to make a board game, which followed a color scheme that he provided us with. My board game was based on the Disney movie Hercules with a little spinner made of fire and it's called Escape from Hell. Thank you very much for watching this video. I have an art Instagram if you want to check out more of my pieces. Essentially that's that.